it always impact on how the league table is shaped up. Now, things have changed. And since Gormaya won their match over the week and they've moved further up, the biggest losers in the week were probably Bandari and uh, Police. And, of course, there was AFC, AFC Leopard. AFC. So if you look AFC. at the table at the moment, I think it says that... Uh, um, Poster Rangers, who I told you are going to do very well <laughs> for a reason. I gave you the reason. So post, are still on top of it. Poster, Poster are still on top. There we go. Uh, yeah. uh, with six, uh, four points ahead of Gore. They, they won their match against Zoya 2-0. No, and, and, and God is there after beating AFC. Now, Moranga Seal, maybe that is a surprise pick of the season. I don't know. No, that's, games, let's just say Moranga Seal is still keeping up there. You know, this KCB same. match, was, is this before or this after, is after they were awarded the, the three points and two goals, so, right? So this is, they were awarded the, the two goals and the three points. And, and, and um, uh, 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 Muhoroni got themselves punished. They, they're playing the next five home matches in an empty stadium. They were fined 300,000, uh, and their chairman was banned from the stadium for the next two matches. If Only you watch two matches. The clip, no. If you watch the clip, what, what happens you know, is what happens is that um, that Moroni Stadium should not be used for the Premier It shouldn't, it's, and it's all the teams open, have complained. And uh, it's too dangerous. Yeah, and uh, I think that should not be used for a Premier League match. That's what everybody is saying as well. But that's the top of the table. Let's look at the other side of the table as well and see what yeah, is going you, on you there. You know what? Uh, the, what is interesting, Bernard, is that uh, you know the giant clubs. Uh, you know, the Olin sisters, FC Leopard, Sofabaka, you know, they are all, you know, on the relegation. They're tottering on yeah, the other side of yeah, the, exactly. the log. And, and, and you that's, know, remember that's that, you know, I mean, uh, if you look at Olinsi last season, you know, they were, they were really doing very well. But if you compare this... They're season, not even there. They're not in the top ten. Yeah, exactly. They're not in the top ten. That's why we've left them out, to yeah. find out who is not there. <laughs> and uh, whoever is not there is FC Leopard, is Sofabaka, Sofa uh, is... Tanska, Zolinzi, uh, you know, they're not on the top there. Something is not right with the way they are doing at the moment. I and that, that needs to be addressed. And that is something very interesting, you know, that we, you know... We well, have police are up there, the sixth. Let's police give them their credit. Police yes. are there. But, yes. you know, I mean, uh, with, with, with the others, you know, that were really doing very well, I do not know what exactly is happening, but let's hope that at least maybe they will improve. Just like if you saw last season, there are some teams that we were... A little bit afraid initially, but then at least they were able to. They picked up uh, later they on. Picked up later on. Okay, yeah. you know, let's hope they so, do. Then. So Fapaka yeah. is really rooted at the bottom. Even after sacking their coach, they still uh, lost to to Seal. Eh? Well, sacking so the coach was not so, going to give so, them so some extraordinary know. strength now, to get now to the AFC top. Now AFC have sacked yeah. their coach. Yeah. Let's see if they can improve on their. They have to work their way up. Let's hope they do that. Yeah. Okay. Moving from the field and into the podium where people pose to show off the muscles, there was the East Africa Bodybuilding Championships. Now, this was organized by, it was an event, you could call it that, it, it organized for East Africa. And the bodybuilders stand up from Uganda, from Tanzania, and from Kenya. And it's a long time since we saw this kind of hard bodies getting onto the podium to showcase their talent. You know, people never think that there is a tact that is used in even showcasing your muscles here. You could start with the chest, you could start with the biceps, depending on what you're being told. It could be the triceps, it could be the calves, it could be the back muscles, it could be the thigh muscles. <laughs> even this the way is they usually a good event. Well, no, they, you have to put on oil so that yeah. you're shining. Look, look, yeah. look, look at it, look at it. And then they have categories. You've got the middleweight, the heavyweights, and all that. They compete in their categories. And then the winner of each category now comes to compete for the overall category. Now, the story is that the Kenyans lost the main event to Tanzanians. That is what we are told. Although they're also telling me that they weren't part of it. But this was a showcase of muscles and a half. To imagine that these people have been training for so long, and it's very evident they've been training, and we've not, we've not had a national competition, rubs me the wrong way for, for some reason, Actually, uh, Bernard, you know, I mean, that is, that is where the problem is, because I believe that, you know, mo most Kenyans would be wondering that, you know, I mean, is, is uh, bodybuilding a, a sport? Actually, it is a sport. It is. You know, that unfortunately <laughs> in this country, we, are, you know, we have not put a lot of emphasis. Oh, look, uh, at, look at that. Look at that. Look at the back that's muscles. Right. Look at the back muscles. And then, now, look, the... the and then I, I, like, I like when you talk about, you know, every muscle that they have, it's supposed to be feasible, you know, because you're supposed yes, to be yes. able to uh, do whatever they do and at least be able to show every muscle. Yes. And if you look at these guys, you know, look at the, the, the muscles themselves. It is all divided, you know, that you can be able to see each muscle. You can count the, every muscle that is there in the body. It's and defined, that is, yeah. That's the double biceps. Huh? And then, uh, yeah. And, and, and this, this event, Bernard, it, it was also held last year in Eldoret, and it's, it's really picked. They, they, they even increased the prize money. 
This time there were a total of 355 uh, uh, participants. They're now planning to move it to a bigger venue next oh, year. Oh, this is the most muscular. Yeah. It's this called the most muscular pose. Yeah. Like every muscle on your body must show. And, and, and in one of these, the competition was so stiff <coughs> that the judges had to get, you know, if there, there were four contestants, they had to get two on the stage and now judge those yeah, two. Yeah, it's you called, know, it's, it's like really, they pose down, they pose down so that you get yeah. the, the finer details. Exactly. When, when there's close exactly. competition between the two, the judges call for a pose down between this one and this one by the number so that they get So the, imagine yes. if the federation was into no, this. No, we'll talk about that later today. We'll talk about that later today.